So this is a lovely sunny morning to be playing with a little bog area. So I have my new toy on the back of the tractor. I've been looking for one of these for a long time and uh, it's not perfect. It hasn't got a cutting disc on it, but it is a little tiny mole plow. And I'm gonna be pulling that up and down here, hoping not to hit anything like concrete goalpost sockets. Water pipes, electric pipes, I don't know, apparently there aren't any of those in here. But anyway, uh, this little area here becomes boggy in the winter. It's on a slope, it shouldn't really come to the surface, but it does. And just like that. Oh, that's lovely. So I'm hoping to get rid of that, so I'm going to be doing a load of mole runs through it at that angle and hopefully it will I don't want to take it straight to the road and let it you know, come out on the road all the time and keep that wet so hopefully by the time it gets over there it disappears back into the soil so this is variably wet in the winter it is pretty very wet at the moment it extends all the way down here. So I'm just going to mark the area that it goes to. So that a couple of days after I've mole ploughed, I can get a sense of whether it has drained anything or not. So we're right out here at the moment. It doesn't usually get any bigger than this um, in the winter. It just comes out to about here. Whether I can still see these marks in a few days, I don't know. And what mess the tractor will make when it's pulling through this wet patch. It shouldn't be. It's, it's not much of a. It's not much of a pull. It's a. Um, it's a little tiny little slit, really, with a little tiny tube on the bottom of it. Shouldn't really be much of a pull at all. But we shall see. It would have been ideal with a disc cutter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive up. I'm going to drive back down there and pull it upwards, and I'm going to I'm going to pull it through this wheel mark, this wheel mark here, so it's slightly firmed up a bit and might help against it, any ripping. And then I'm gonna drive up there, then I'm gonna drive back down with the wheel on the one I've just done. And a new wheel mark here, which I will then drive up. That is the theory. But without a disc, I am yet to find out how much mess it makes. I'm hoping very little. I have just shined up the leg a bit. It does have a point. It does have a point on the front of it. So it's not a... It's not a flat surface going through it. We shall see. Here we go. Well, that's the first run done. And I would say it needs a disc. Which is a bit of a pain in the buttocks. But yeah, it is grabbing. And at some places it's grabbing quite badly. Like that, that's a bit of a pain, that is. So, bits like that, I can just drive over and squash down again. But it's just these few, I think that will all pretty much draw go back again it's just these few bloody bits <sighs> see that's gonna be a mess if i just squeeze that down again <laughs> it's even pulled stuff out there yeah it needs a disc so i'm gonna get a cup oh god yeah i'm gonna get a couple of these runs in and then i'm just gonna Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. 
and then I'm just going to tidy them up, run back over them and then look at getting a bloody disc on it a oh, pain, I didn't think it would rip quite that bad there you go, so I think that's pretty much it for now, two runs I'm gonna, <laughs> the bloody hell's that old mess oh my god it's a nice clean slit where the uh, where it's all wet and clay. So we'll see. Well, we'll see if those two runs do anything. Might be bone dry. You never know. But yeah, down there, you can see into the sun. Down here is a big bloody mess. So I will have to uh, wander down and just. Poke all these bits back. <laughs> Where's that bit gone? There he is. Get back there. There we go. Good as new. Hmm. Shame. Shame that is. I thought a little pointy fronted leg would be a bit cleaner than that. Never mind. The actual lift isn't too bad, I mean that, that'll drive back. Just driving over that will level that up again. Hopefully without squashing the mole tunnel. Oh yeah, a load of moles moving now. That'd be a pain, wouldn't it? Oh look, ready-made homes for us. Anyway. So down there is a nice little tunnel for all that water to bugger off over there. Anyway, that's it for part one. Part two, we'll see what this does and then go about sorting a disc out for the front of this at some point. Lovely soil there. Very, very nice out the front here. Hardly get any surface water at all, apart from this bit. It's uh, just really good draining, really good grass growing, soil out the front here. Anyway, waffle, 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 that's it for part one. Uh, get a disc sorted some point and have part two, and hopefully uh, we can make a little bit of a neater job.